first things first what you create is a regular workflow like your ETL uh, that's the first piece on top of it is what you will actually be building your interactive workflow so first thing uh, where you, you find all those details is go to your workflow just click on your canvas and that will be activated you have your standard workflow analytic app and macro it doesn't matter where you create your workflow uh, so if you have you click on your second option you see on your right hand side there is this uh, magic uh, uh, button that will get activated so if you have your workflow that will be gone we'll just have the run right so if you create all your workflow just hit run the it's not going to give a GUI uh, user interface where the user can type in however if you click this button the magic button it says run as analytic app so at that time the user will be prompted a user interface in which you'll be like uh, typing out this uh, data which you can interfere during the ETL process that's a high level so let's take a look and see how we can create a simple uh, analytic tool so for this purpose, I'm just going to get the input from uh, sample data. Let's see. So the sample data is basically located. I'm just going to choose the it's going to be in your program files. So I'm going to my program files, your Altrex, your samples and your data, and then your sample data. It's going to pushing everything all the way down let's see tutorial data addresses all right that is the one that i'm going to use but feel free to use any of the data set it's a, a fairly uh, quick workflow so here what's going to happen is this this is my input i just pointed to my input uh, the input has look that's user id uh, first name last name prefix gender birth rate registration uh, country full name phone number mobile phone city zip code all the information from the registration uh, customer registration right uh, so this is the first piece once you have got the data from the Alteryx database so yxdb once you have your data inside you can go ahead and add a filter uh, now i'm just going to show you guys uh, uh, the data itself here uh, so if you take a look we have uh, all these information now let's uh, basically filter on the gender uh, male and female we have so right now i'm just gonna make sure mail is selected it doesn't matter actually uh, i'll show you why so i just need to click on this and then configure the tool uh, so in the custom filters what i should do is i'll just say uh, gender that's a column name right i should just say gender yeah so gender is equal to it doesn't matter you put female or male here it is going to be replaced with whatever the user is going to be inputting from the interface tab which i'll show you in a few minutes we'll just go ahead and output the file into an excel so i'm just going to go to in out i'm just going to drag and drop the data file here all right so once that is done the next step is basically to configure the output so i just need to go here and see just go ahead and click my xlsx just see and I just output it to a sample sample interactive output right um, yep yeah, so I think that's fine it's gonna ask me to select the sheet number sheet one is good hit ok all right so this is basically your uh, simple workflow uh, so what this basically does is uh, it is gonna point to a input file so that's a tutorial data file uh, and then it's gonna filter for the gender column it's gonna only look for male right now each and every time uh, whenever it's been ran it's always gonna look for male uh, and then it's gonna drop the output into a separate uh, like given folder right so this is a process routine process It's gonna happen all the time exactly the way we have configured it right but let's say if the user wants to step in and he wants to make a change in this gender let's say i wanted to uh, select only the female and then output it into a different folder somewhere else right so how do i do that so that is exactly where the interactive app comes into play so you need to go to this folder called uh, this toolbox uh, called uh, inf interface so once you're in here they have a bunch of different options right so you have like 
file browse, radio button, text box, drop down, list box, everything is here. Whatever you need to make a interactive workflow, everything is here. Everything is very simple to configure, very similar to what we're gonna see right now. In this one, I'm gonna choose text box. So I just need to keep my text box here and then point it to the action, uh, action side, right? You see here. So once you put it, the, the action piece will automatically come in, if you can see here. So now all that you need to do here is go ahead and do the configuration, right? So you need to give a name for the text box because that's how it's going to be displayed. Let's say enter gender, gender, uh, right? So default text, you can make it like, you know, male or female as a default. And then you can mask the text if you wanted to make it this was going to be your password field or something. You can mask it. You can even make it like a multi-line. I and mean, then you can make it for API development or you can hide this control also though that's there's different options available so in this case uh, just change this uh, text with whatever the user is inputting right so how do I do that just I just need to hit on this expression value and in the bottom you can see replace a specific string checkbox check that and then remove everything whatever is there except for the actual data data value itself right so what's going to happen is when the user will put some text here, that text is going to be replacing with whatever we have here, right? And that in turn will replace this filter and the workflow will be executed with a new filter. That's what is going to happen. So this, uh, this text box is configured right now. Now what we can also do is we can go ahead and configure the output uh, tool. So we can say that, you know, on runtime, let's say the user wants to choose their filter and then they also wanted to choose the path where they uh, wanted their output to get delivered, right? So I just need to bring in my file browse. Once I bring in my file, br file browse, I, I can uh, keep a name for this. Uh, let's say choose your output, output file or location or whatever it is. And then here I should say save as dialog, right? Only then it's gonna open the dialog that you'd have seen before in our input output. Uh, I feel like I can show you that in a few seconds. Um, so I can just uh, drag this again to my uh, uh, action. Now I just need to go ahead and configure the same action box will be opened up here. I just need to go ahead and configure this one. I'll just say that uh, uh, update output data tool default. So, you know, I'm just going to keep it as default here. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, execute it right now. So you see here, I'm just hitting this uh, magic button here. I'm not hitting run. If I just hit run, it's going to run with the default values. So now you see here, this is the GUI the user will be uh, seeing, right? So you have your enter gender, right? Which is going to be touching this and choose your output file is going to be touching this so if i enter gender so i'm just going to change it as female right the user is entering female then the output choose your output file i'm just going to hit this drop down then it's going to open the same drop down that you would have been familiar right so hit file i'll just choose a file here let's say output output interactive right Output interactive, it's gonna be in Excel as it's okay. Hit save. Right, so I'm gonna ask which sheet you wanted to write. Sheet one is fine. And then, uh, so that's configured. This is configured. I'm just gonna hit finish. All right, so once it's uh, finished running, it's gonna show, give you an option to open the file. You can show you guys exactly stored the file here. It's going to be right here so i can just double click this the file has been opened now now we can see here let's uh, put a filter you see here everything is going to be female so which is exactly what we have filtered so that's about it guys so uh, feel free to play around with this file you can uh, see how you can filter our your state or city or any other field here very similar and let me know if you have any questions.